I was walking into a building not two weeks ago. I opened the door, 10 steps back, I notice a guy's coming up with no arms. So you know what I do? I hold the door. And when he gets up, he goes, I don't need you to do that shit. And I go, <laughs> okay, Stumpy, um, let's watch you bite that handle for an hour. That'll be a fun fucking show. I call her and uh, she doesn't answer. I play a song through the phone. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. What song was it? Do you know what she called me back and said? She never called me back. I saw her a year later with a baby. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. <laughs> you dodged that, bro. Yeah. I just realized recently that I definitely need a hobby because I don't actually do anything. <laughs> like I do this sometimes and that's that's it, you know? The same goes for all comedians. We're either we're either doing shows or in the hotel rooms. And that's a lot of time to kill. And the truth is, you can only watch so much porn before, before you're like, all right, I'm gonna watch some more. But right now it hurts. I gotta find something else to do. You made a joke and you said, uh, let's build a wall around Louisiana. Right. And that made people some people very unhappy. People would be like, no, you, you crossed the line with that joke about building a wall. I'm like, do you understand what time we're living in here? Like, right. do you understand the context? Like, our current administration wants to build a wall to keep people out from, like, quote, shithole countries. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, let's put a wall around a shithole state. You know, it's like... <laughs> Coming from Ohio, being from Cincinnati, like where do you kind of get your inspiration, I guess, from your clothes? Um, clothes? You know, from the streets mostly. Um, you know, I travel a lot. I'm a SoCal guy now. I just picked it up from, you know, fights, fighting people, um, you know, beefing. Like I got this, you know, I don't know. How's your son? Amazing, super cute, the most adorable. He's not like Asian baby cute, but he's like right below that. <laughs> and. What? I, they're the cutest. Yeah. I, I think they're cuter than bunnies and puppies combined. Yeah. I personally, I would throw away 20 white babies to have an Asian baby. If it was a... Yeah. That's one thing that makes me happy. You like farts? I do like that. Hold on. I feel Sorry. better. I got nothing. Just that. knowing that something was coming. <laughs> it's coming. I fly every week. I never buy a first class ticket, I buy coach tickets. I buy them so much, I get bumped up to first class. I am telling you, the moment I get bumped up to first class, I get washed over with this feeling. I'm like, ugh, look at these disgusting poor pieces of trash, yeah. I'm so much better than everybody. Like, don't stand next to me, dude, you're gross. I dare you to come try to use the first class bathroom from coach when I'm up there, because I will put my hand on your chest and I'll send you back. And I'll be like, no, there's a pig trough in the back for you guys, so don't have fun with that. So you do it all? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What else do you do, you do that I'm I not mean, aware of? I mean, gymnastics, I do that. <laughs> Um, I mean, I hear you laughing, but I'm actually pretty damn good at really? it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could do, if I wanted to, I could do six flips right here, right now. Seriously? Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. If we didn't have these cameras right here, I would, you I would challenge you. You have too much equipment, and I don't want to pay that. <laughs> you don't want to but, yeah. pay the cost of fix. So, gymnast as well? Gymnast. I'm an animal trainer. I train dogs. Um, I can train, I'm actually one of the few guys that can train cats, too. So, a lot of people. What's the coolest thing you've trained a cat to do? Uh, probably answer a phone. <laughs> and, and looked at my driver's license as we were having this meeting, and it says I'm 5'11", and he goes, bro, 5'11", <laughs> come on. And he shook his head. Then he stood up next to me, and I was like, I am. I tower over you. Come on, that's ridiculous. I tower over you. You can eat peanuts off my head? <laughs> Easily. How tall You're, are you, Tom? 5'11". <laughs> <laughs> you, you work with your wife very closely, too? Yes. How does that work? Because she's a comedian as well. She's a person. <laughs> and she's uh, a living human woman. Mm -hmm. um, she allows me to touch her, and uh, she likes me. So we have a good relationship. I made a baby with her. Uh, it's wonderful. Consensual. Everything was cool. And uh, we love him. He's our son. He's already training right now. He's 15 weeks old. I got him lifting. I got him doing push-ups. 
he's going to be something that you don't want to mess with for sure. He's going to be a big deal. Well, he's going to take after you then and challenge yeah. all these uh, oh, yeah. rappers and comedians out there. We're don't mess games. with this man. Lokes, if you want to step up and get, get hit, you know what to do, man. You meet me at the Home Depot <laughs> on 6th Street, downtown LA, Monday at 3 o'clock, and we can see what happens. I'm half Peruvian, so, mm -hmm. so we've been teaching him Spanish because it's part of his heritage, and I speak Spanish, and you know, there's also utility in knowing Spanish. So many people speak it. Of course, it. yeah. And then my wife's Hungarian, which is fine, and, <laughs> and she goes, I want him to speak Hungarian. I'm like, why? It's like, so he can be an arms dealer or something? Like, what's <laughs> <laughs> now you're saying that you're, amazing, you want a, a black aggressive shit talker, aggressive yeah, shit -talker aggressive. in tennis. Yeah, that would be the best. And That's I, an ace, man. Like that? Oh, yeah. like, ain't no double fault. Fuck you. Like that. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Ain't no double fault. Sir, can you please watch your language, please? Eat my dick. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to ask you to get over to the, to the Bitch. service. Bitch. It's you didn't like, really know what you were taking, though, right? Doctors ultimately found some stuff in your system that you yeah, weren't Yeah, I mean, sure I knew about. what I was taking because I had taken it before because it's fun to get high. But um, <laughs> I didn't realize that I shouldn't take a hundred hits at once. Hello? Yes. Hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hey, um, you got a second for me? <laughs> I had so much fun reading jokes to you the other day. I got some new ones submitted. Can I read them to you? I love jokes. Okay. Uh, these are uh, just women jokes, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to laugh already. <laughs> okay. How do you blind a woman? I give up. You put a windshield in front of her. <laughs> Comedian Tom Segura, a.k.a. DJ Dadmouth. DJ DJ Dadmouth. <laughs> It's all about the after party, man. I mean, I want to give a shout out to Kim Ann, you Who's are amazed, and uh, uh, Throatzilla. Throatzilla? Yeah. Let's talk about rain real quick, man. Over here, Cedar Rapids. <laughs> here? Man, you got a little over an inch. That's nothing. Look at Spencer. <laughs> Spencer? Man, y'all are wet. Man, this is so easy. What is this? Deck? Decora? Decora. Decora? They have decora. no rain? Or they, you just felt lazy you didn't put like putting in the, <laughs> the total? So we welcome them in this morning. Good morning. What's up, man? Shout yeah. out to Mercer. Shout out to the Bristol stool chart. I had number five. That's soft blobs with clear cut edges because I need fiber. There you go. Tom Segura. Segura. AKA DJ Dadmouth. AKA duct tape. Duct tape. Dad mouth? Du duct tape. Duct tape. Duct tape. Yeah, how'd you, how'd you get that? People call me duct tape, man. They call me duct tape. Because I always have it on me, you know? Like MacGyver. It fixes yeah. everything. I'll duct tape your mouth shut. I'll just. <laughs> anywhere that you have a. Tape on it. I duct tape your ass today. <laughs> oh, Skycam. Oh, look at this. We'd like to thank our sponsors at Orton Homes. Yes. If you're looking for a house and you have money, contact Orton Homes and they'll help you get it. And if something breaks, we'll put duct tape on it. Now, I got to ask about the get up here. You were expecting a blizzard in Syracuse, obviously. No, it's just how I roll, man. I roll like this in July. I don't care if it's humid, 
I don't care if it's 105, I wear you, fur. Because there's an old saying, happy hoes eat, sad hoes don't. And I try to stay happy. 